Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Early, and I don't know about you, but I have done so many funerals as a pastor where I've stood there and somebody has died and everybody's looking for hope. Everybody's looking for encouragement. Well, I want to encourage you today. There is victory over death. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. Victory over death. Many consider death to be the greatest enemy of them all, but I want you to know you can be a victor in spite of death through him who loves you. Now, there's some things you need to understand about death. Let's look at them together. Number one, death is the result of sin. Why is there even death on this planet? God made everything to live. God gave life. God expected Adam and Eve to live forever. But it says in Romans 5, it says, by one man, sin entered into the world, and death through sin. And then it says that death was spread to all men, because all have sin. This planet has the curse of death over it, and we have the curse of death over us. The planet has the curse of death over it because of Adam's sin. We have the curse of death over us because we have sin. Death is a result of sin. And it leads to separation. Isaiah 59 says, Your sins have separated you from your God. God is able to hear you. God is able to save. God is able to bless. But your sins are a wall, a barrier between you and God. Every sin you've ever committed is like a brick in the wall between you and God. And even though God loves you, there's a wall between you and Him. And that wall is created by your own sins. That's bad news. Well, there's more. Death is a certainty. Death came because of sin. Death is a certainty because of sin. Sin leads to death. The wages of sin is death. Death is a certainty. Unless Jesus comes again soon, before your life is over, you will die. You will experience death. Your loved ones will die. They will experience death. All of us need to understand that death is followed by examination. Hebrews 9.27 says, It's appointed unto man, all man wants to die. We'll all die unless Jesus comes. And then the judgment. Death and then judgment. We will be examined. Our lives will be examined. We will give an account of what we've said, what we've done, what we've thought, what we had, what we uh, did with what we had, how we treated people, how we responded to God, what we did with the gospel, how we served Him, did we serve Him, all of that, all of our sins, it will all be examined after we die. You won't escape that. But the good news is, death was defeated by Jesus. Death, where is your sting? Death, where is your victory? Oh, thank God, we have victory through Jesus, uh, through the one who loves us. Death has no hold on us because of Jesus. Now, I want to explain that to you. Let's start over. <laughs> I didn't have the... Can you cut me in? Okay, I just said, let me explain that to you. Okay. Let me explain that to you. Death was defeated by Jesus. How did he do it? Well, this is how it works. Us, we've all sinned, and the scripture says we all deserve death. That's bad news. Death, separation from God. Physical death is your soul separate from your body. Spiritual death is your soul separate from God. That's bad news. But Jesus defeated death, first of all, when he became one of us. Then he lived a life on earth as one of us with no sin. Jesus was like us in every way, yet without sin. Because of that, he didn't deserve to die. He deserved life. He did not deserve separation from God. He deserved union with God. So he deserved life, 
But what did Jesus do because he loved us? To give us victory over death? Jesus took our sin and died for us on the cross. He took our sin and the penalty of that sin, death, and died for us to defeat death for us. Then he rose again from the dead to prove that he had victory over death. And we get in on that when we have faith and trust him and believe in him and are saved. Have you been born again? Have you been saved? Let me be honest with you. If you haven't been saved, you have no hope when it comes to death because the examination is going to show you as guilty and you're going to spend eternity separated from God in hell. But if you trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, your body may die, but your soul, it's just a doorway into eternity. It, you go from life to better life. You go from life to more life. You go from this life to fullness of life. You go from earth to heaven. Death is just the doorway to eternity. Are you ready for that day? If not, you can be. I'd like to help you be sure that you're saved today. I'm going to say a prayer, and if you believe what I'm saying is true, and it resonates with your heart, and you feel God drawing you to Him right now, you repeat this to God out loud after I say it. Dear God, I admit that I have sinned. Tell God that. God, I admit that I have sinned. God, I admit that I deserve death and eternal separation from you. God, I admit that I deserve death and eternal separation from you. I believe Jesus Christ never sinned. I believe Jesus Christ never sinned. I believe he took my sin and died on the cross. I believe he took my sin and died on the cross. I believe he rose from the dead three days later. I believe Jesus rose from the dead three days later. I call on the name of the Lord Jesus to save me. I call on the name of the Lord Jesus to save me. Forgive my sin. Come into my life. Give me eternal life. Forgive my sin. Come into my life. Give me eternal life. I want to live for you the rest of my life. I want to live for you the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that prayer to God and you meant it, you transferred out of this column into this column, from death unto life. If you did that, would you please write a comment under this video? Say, I just trusted Jesus as my Savior. If you enjoyed today's teaching, I want to encourage you to do three things. First of all, like this uh, page, become a follower of this page, watch the videos every day. They will help you grow in your spiritual life. We have viewers from all over the world. Second, share this video with a friend or on your page to folks who can be encouraged by it. And third, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to it because you can have access to all the videos that way. You can find them. They're, they're categorized for you. So that's what you need to do.